There's certain moments when I only turn this on because I'm yelling at the air in a way that could be captured for comedic purposes if only I would stop losing my shit in real time. I think I want to post that one routine under uh, I am Rip Van Job losing my shit in real time, you know, because that's really what it is. I get so negative at the end of that piece because I'm alone on planet elitism and I don't understand why people don't understand that what I just said that got me to turn this on was last night Joe Scarborough my crazy Texas uncle from TV, from MSNBC, came out as going to be an independent now. Um, I don't know if I'm watching this out. Gee, let's let's hold. <laughs> really? Oh, just keep going. Who cares? Um, yeah, my crazy Texas uncle came out as an independent. Oh, and Frosty, Hyde, and Frank. Frank and Frosty had an argument that went like this. Frank says, who cares if he was elected by Putin? In business, and politics, which is now a subset of business, aren't you supposed to cheat to win? And he doesn't know that A, that's immoral, B, it's treason, and C, shit like that has consequences. So even if you don't care about morality, why don't you care about your own mortality, you fucking dumb shit? Because this guy's on our side, right? I mean, he's a mobster corporate asshole that's out for himself, so he's really going to help the little man, right? And it doesn't matter that he was elected by Putin, because who cares, right? It's for, for an influence of a hostile foreign power in our election, but that'll be fine. People have gone insane. And so what I'm sitting here saying is, you know, everyone's gone nuts. And so the thing that got me to turn this on, I think I want to turn it off and see if you can see me, audio listeners, is that the only two sane people somewhere are, you know, ensconced in a cafe somewhere in Vermont having the only remaining sane conversation. It's my crazy Texas uncle that's an independent and, you know, my, my crazy Jewish grandpa, Bernie Sanders, that would have won if they'd run him, but they didn't run him because we live in an insane corporatocracy that wants to run the first female president who's an insane corporatist whore also and going to bring us a worse corporatist whore called Don Trump. Cause everyone hates Hillary because she's corrupt as shit, but no one hates Don for being corrupt because they think he's their corrupt guy. I'm going to just let that sink in for a minute to any of you people that still support this insane fascist pig asshole who, for whom I have written an epitaph which reads, he was no Richard Nixon. And what Frank said on the radio was, it's only wrong if you get caught. Quoting Nixon! Because we never learn. So somewhere, Joe and, and, and Bernie, I'm just going to turn this off and see if you can see me, and then we'll do this as a comedy routine, because this is just yelling in the habit hat. Whip hand to random shit. Okay, it's, it's just, um, they're sitting there going, you know, so burn, what is this, is Joe, so burn, what do you, it, it, uh, we have to create a society where people give a shit about compassion, because people are horrible sinners, and atrocious, corrupt pigs. And because I don't believe in Jesus as a savior, I think we're all fucked because I'm a Marxist. But whereas my friend Jonathan Kotler is a Christ-centered Marxist, even though he's screaming at Jesus to kill him and that he hates him and that he ruined his life with his illness, I think we're fucked because no one is going to institute collectivist policies, societally friendly, socialist, for a better word, policies, Unless anyone cares and no one cares, so I think we're fucked. What's your thought, Joe? Well, gee, Burn, I didn't know you were this negative, and I am a Christian, but really, just you're kind of making me want to kill myself, and just, John wants to kill himself over this stuff, and I just think that everyone's gone meshuggah, which is apparently a word that the Jews use to mean meshuggah, and I just, I, I just, uh, you know, Joe, you should leave the Yiddish to me. You're really not very good at the Yiddish. I speak in calming tones, <clears throat> tones, of an older Jewish man that says, Oi. You know, you know, you know, Bern, you're not really helping with the Oi. I just, it's, I'm saying, I think we have a problem, Joe. We have a problem, Joe. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can see me and then we'll just see if this was at all anything other than nothing, which it probably was, and I don't know.